Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shreya Bhattacharya, an MCH trained head and neck surgeon currently working at Narayana Super Speciality Hospital, Howrah. Today we will talk a bit about thyroid disorders in general. Thyroid disorders are a common occurrence globally. The most common presentation of thyroid enlargement is a solitary thyroid nodule. Now these STNs, as we call them commonly, harbor typically a 5 to 15 percent risk of malignancy at referral centers. Now, challenge is to identify these malignant lesions. So, for this above purpose, we have three tools in our armamentarium. First is the fine needle aspiration cytology, commonly known as FNAC, then ultrasound of the neck and thyroid function test. Now, what are the risk factors of malignancy in these STNs? Um, firstly, would be the size criteria, like nodules more than 4 cm in size. Then the male gender, extremes of age, like less than 15 years, more than 55 years. Family history of thyroid cancer, prior history of radiation therapy to the neck and other associated uh, signs of malignancy like you know enlarged lymph nodes or fixity of structures etc. Uh, surgery forms the mainstay of treatment in thyroid cancers followed by radioactive iodine when indicated. Now the extent of surgery in thyroid cancers needs a bit of discussion. Uh, in tumors less than 1 cm of size and low risk patients, hemithyroidectomy that is removal of one lobe of the thyroid and the isthmus suffices. Total thyroidectomy that is removal of both lobes and the isthmus is warranted for tumors more than 4 cm in size and in high risk patients. Now uh, tumor sizes between 1 to 4 cm form an area of considerable debate and the decisions regarding the extent of surgery in these cases have to be taken in conjunction with the patient, surgeon and tumor factors. Thyroid cancers harbor an excellent prognosis if treated appropriately and detected early. Thank you.